Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Capricorn. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for love for Capricorn. Let's see. What are, do the cards want to tell us in terms of love for our Capricorn? What are the love messages? We have a uh, past love. Okay, so someone that you've broken up with, maybe a dark male. He could be dark in skin color, you know, different ethnicity from you. Or this was somebody who kept things from you, okay? There was always a mystery so with surrounding them or with them. It was you just couldn't read them work. It could have been a work romance. Um, there were obstacles in the way, or the universe has placed obstacles in the way right now for you two. So you can figure each other so you can figure yourselves out without being in each other's energy and space, the short term. Maybe this breakup. Is for the short term or this person wants to come into your life to show you uh what it is you don't want what it is you don't deserve um how maybe you can level up uh how you need to understand the law of attraction you and you attracted this person court courting a man so maybe there's someone new here uh for some of you this could have been that you were dealing with somebody who was married with children they had you as the other woman it was just a sex only relationship and there's a lot of gossip surrounding you and this person and this relationship here again this was temporary for you to understand that um it with all of this how could you ever move forward they wanted you to understand and have more self-love you know the new love is a new lease on life in terms of how you look at yourself and how you look at love and what you will even engage in or even um, give attention to. So let's see what the future energy is for my Capricorn. So it was like some of you guys were dating somebody who was already obligated to someone else. Uh, people knew about it or maybe they didn't. This person, they talked a good game. Maybe they even told you that they would uh, divorce or separate from their significant other. But it was just talk. There was other people talking about this. It was just a sex-only connection for this person. This person also could be saying that they were only staying for the children. Um, let's see. Main male. So this could be even like a uh, same sex. There could be a wife and then two men involved also. Somebody just wanted to have sex here. Or they somebody likes having sex with men, but they want the relationship with their wife, with a woman. They like to keep up the facade of maybe being a straight male, or maybe they are bisexual, pansexual. And it's so many sexuals, and I am not judging. I'm just saying this is somebody who was in between two worlds, and they were okay with it. And they, I said it too with the dark male it's like they had a lot of secrets here and then at the bottom of the deck we have a false person they they're masquerading like they like something isn't what it is with the eight the eight talks about sex it talks about intimacy it talks about mystery you know so it was like um that's what this person was uh masquerading as let's see what the cards have to tell you for career and finance career and finance Okay, career and finance, we have the seven of cups in reverse. Very good. So some of you getting very serious about your work, the five of wands in reverse. So you're coming out of that frisky, overly, um, you know, uh, energetic, but not focused energy. Um, it, it's, it just looks like you're getting very serious about whatever it is you're putting your energy and effort, your time, your creative um your creative juices into you you're really yeah getting focused staying with something trying to see something through with the knight of wands it's like you understand there's a door open for you right now for you to move through so that you can actually um you know manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest in your career and finance there also could be opportunity for promotion moving up something about moving 
Don't doubt yourself and don't think the worst. What you think will manifest. Do your research. Learn all that you can. Page of uh, Swords. Uh, be knowledgeable. Be curious. Be logical. Page of Wands. Explore. Move forward. Again, good news of a new job, a new business, a new promotion. Something is here for you. Uh, stick with it. it. The news of this thing could be coming in, in one to 11 days. Um, it says that you'll be able to do something that you want to do how you want to do it. The page of wands talks about doing what you want to do when you want to do it. So it talks about freedom, freedom of choice, maybe freedom of choice in your career. So it's like maybe you moving from um, being so rigid uh, in terms of uh, maybe a nine to five and now you're going to get into something more creative or you have a creative endeavor, but you didn't take it serious. But now you are with the seven of cups and the seven of and the five of wands in reverse. Last card for career and finance. Last card for career and finance. The four of earth, uh, the four of water. Okay, so don't miss the blessing before you. Okay, you may not get exactly what you wanted. You got it rejected for some from for something or about something or you had to reject something. Um, something came in to where you're gonna have to rebuild and you know, restructure, rethink, make adjustments. But do keep in mind that this could be a blessing in disguise. Do not miss the opportunity. Do not. Uh, miss the blessing in maybe saying no or someone saying no to you. Reshape, reform. Something about uh, personality and interpersonal skills. Make sure that you're showing up the best version of yourself, of you. Make sure that people, uh, your likability. Okay, make sure that people like you. A lot of times you, people don't get things just because they're not liked. And it's not about going into situations and pleasing everybody, but it's about playing nice too. I, I taught my daughter very young, you know, I told her, what are the three things you need to be? And she would always say, you need to be kind, you need to be smart, you need to be nice. And I said, why? She said, because some people like nice people, some people like smart people. I'm sorry, the three things where you need to look your best, be kind, and be smart. And I would, and, and I would say, why? And I, she would say, because um, some people like uh, kind people, and some people like smart people, and some people just like people that look good. There you are. So you have to learn how to play the game. You know, learn what game you're playing here. Learn the people that you are, your audience. You know, some people just like people that look good. Some people like people who are actually smart. Some people like people who are just nice, likability. So, um, I don't know. Something that was for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates below. Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, also, you can learn the tarot with me if you are interested. We have our first class coming up December 27th. Um, I'm excited. We've got some students there. And if you want to purchase something, because this is the season to give, right? You want to purchase something for the channel, you can head on over to the Amazon wish list and purchase something there. Also, if you have a question or two, you can text it to the number below. Get your question answered all on your mobile device. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.